Slaughter's my name. Luke Slaughter. Cattle's my business. It's a tough business. It's big business. I've got a big stake in it. And there's no man west of the Rio Grande big enough to take it from me. Luke Slaughter of Tombstone. Luke Slaughter of Tombstone, Civil War cavalryman turned Arizona cattleman. Across the territory, from Yuma to Fort Defiance, from Flagstaff to the Huachucas, and below the border through Chihuahua and Sonora, his name was respected or feared, depending on which side of the law you were on. Man of vision, man of legend, Luke Slaughter of Tombstone. The bunkhouse had quieted down an hour before, and I should have been in bed myself. But I stood on the veranda watching the heat lightning play around Apache Peak. It was quiet. Too quiet. Then I heard a single rider coming into the ranch, hell-bent for leather. I sensed trouble. I was right. Hey, Luke, that you? Yeah, Wichita, what's your hurry? Uh, that little... that little bunch that we cut out for breeding... And took to the upper mesa this morning. What about it? Well, them critters is gone. What? Yeah. There's only one trail leading up there. Yeah, and all the tracks on it are pointed downhill. At the bottom, they fan out toward the border. How much of a head start have they got? Well, Pete Packer come in for supper, and I went out night herd after her about three hours, I reckon. Get Pete and Inky from the bunkhouse. Saddle up my night horse. We've got some riding to do. <laughs> Getting on toward sunup, Luke. Yeah. Ought to be catching up with them brand artists pretty soon, right? Without them knowing it, if we can. Dern cow thieves. When I get my old Winchester load on them, they're gonna know. Oh, them. oh, hold up there. Get a, oh. What's the matter? You got a smell of them? Look, up there. Where? On top of that rise. Why, that's a she critter. Pete, yeah. Hinky. Yeah. Circle and hold your fire until you can see who you're shooting at. Right. One foot from here, Wichita. Sure. Oh, shut up, you dern mall cow. Over here. I'm coming. There's the herd. But I don't see any riders. That wasn't no cow. Rustlers must be down there in the draw. Sit tight, Wichita. We've got to give Pete and Hinky time to get on the other side of them. Well, we keep on being announced. They're going to know we're sitting out here waiting to pot them. Get ready. They know it now. Can't see too well in this light, but just show me something to shoot at. There you go, off to the right. Hold your fire. But look, they're getting away. And Pete and Hinky are out there somewhere. Well, we just gonna sit here. Let's move in slow. Only one horse rode out. This could be a trap. We're coming in. Throw down your guns. Looks like there was only one man and he's gone. Mm-mm. What do you think that is, sticking out from behind that rock over there? Well, that's a boot and a man's leg. Come on. Yep, it's a man, all right. But he appears to be dead, and we ain't fired a shot. Uh, he's not dead, Wichita. He's been knocked out. Well, if he don't wake up in time, he won't know he's been strung up. Come on, you. Uh, well, what about that other one? Without the critters to slow him down, he'll make the border before we can catch him. Let's see what this one has to say first. Uh, Come on. Uh, uh, all right, no. What'd you say? I didn't catch it. Give him a drink out of your canteen, Wichita. Give him a drink? He's still human, even if he is a thief. I, I hope it chokes him. Uh, what? What hit me? Well, Luke, he's just a kid. Yeah. What's your name, boy? 
Who are you? Luke Slaughter. These are my cattle you're trying to steal. Let me go! Easy now. I'll ask you once more. What's your name? Rainier. Buck Rainier. Rainier. Oh, yeah. You know this hombre, Luke? Yeah, I think I do. What you gonna do with me? We're gonna hang you up to dry on the nearest tree. I ain't done nothing. Ain't done nothing. You was trying to make off with 50 head of cattle, that's all. Hold it, Wichita. Ain't done nothing. Wasn't your father Buck Rainier, the shotgun messenger who was killed last year on the stagecoach run to Prescott? What of it? How about your mother, Buck? What became of her? Well? You just leave her out of this. Luke, that other one's two miles away by now. Let's string this one up and get after him. We're going to let him go, Wichita. Let him go? We got our cattle back, didn't we? Yeah, and one pip-squeaking kid. You going to be satisfied with that? Yes, Wichita, I am. It's getting light now. You find Pete and Hinky and round up these critters. Buck and I will locate his horse. Well, what are you going to do with him? Take him back to the ranch with us. I don't want to go to no ranch. Doesn't look to me like you've got much choice. By the way, why did your partner put you to sleep? I ain't going to say. Suit yourself. All right, let's go. You alone, Luke? Yeah, come on in, Wichita. How's the boy doing? Well, didn't eat no supper. None of the hands will talk to him. Poor kid. Couldn't be more than 17. Luke, you're harboring a cattle rustler. His age don't make no difference. What you doing it for? Wichita, do you remember when his daddy was shot last year? Well, no, I ain't exactly sure. He was riding messenger on the tombstone to Prescott stagecoach when it ran into an ambush. Rainey was killed. Oh, yeah, yeah. I seem to recollect now. Mm. I knew Buck Rainier. He worked for me several years ago when I brought a herd up from Sonora. He was always talking about this boy. <laughs> Proud of him. Said he was going to build up a stake for him. Uh, well, can't be much of a daddy when you're dead. Last I heard, he was living with his mother over in Prescott. Well, he sure ain't now. Appears to me he's made up his mind what trail he wants to ride. With a little help, he might change his mind. Luke, you ain't figuring on keeping him here at the ranch. Why not? Why, he's he, he's liable to stab you in the back and make a run for it. I've never had a son, Wichita, but I don't think there's any such thing as a bad boy. Men make him look that way. Uh, you picked a good one to prove that. It's open. Come on in. Look here, Slaughter. I want to know what you're aiming to do with me. Dang it, you speak when you're spoken to. Now... You turn around and march out of here before I blow a hole in your pants. <laughs> Put away that gun, Wichita. Uh, Luke, you gonna let him talk to you that way? You go on back to the bunkhouse. I'll send him down in a few minutes. Uh, all right, Luke. Uh, things is coming to a pretty pass when you treat rustlers like they was visiting neighbors. Sit down, son. I don't want to sit down. You smoke? Sure I do. Here's the makings. Mm. Thanks. Wichita tells me you didn't eat any supper. Wasn't hungry. I was just about to sit down myself. You join me? You want me to eat with you? Well, now, I don't see anything wrong with a couple of men sitting down to a meal together. Do you? Well, no, I... Sit down. <sighs> what have you been doing since last year, Buck? Odd jobs been a cook's helper lately on a wagon outfit working out of Prescott. That's an honest job. Why'd you decide to become a rustler? I didn't decide to... I ain't gonna tell you nothing. I should turn you over to the sheriff. You know that, Buck. Then go ahead and do it. You admired your father, didn't you? He was a good man. I know, Buck. But since he's dead... You're trying to prove in your own way that the name Rainier means something, aren't you? Yeah, and I will, too. By cattle rustling? Oh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you the truth. Nobody would. Why don't you try me? I'll handle this in my own way and in my own time. 
Why won't you tell me anything about your mother, Buck? Did she remarry? No. I don't want to talk about my mother. I see. Well, let's eat. Then you get out of the bunkhouse and get some sleep. You've got work to do tomorrow. Work? Starting right now, you're one of the punchers on this spread. Forty a month and keep. And you're equal to any man in the outfit as long as you do your work. That is, if you want the job. If I want it? Well, you bet I want it. Wichita, I'll outfit you in the morning. That sharps you were carrying when we picked you up will do for a saddle gun. And this Smith and Wesson ought to do for holster duty. You... You're going to let me carry that six-shooter? Every man carries at least one. Mr. Slaughter, I... I'm going to be the best doggone hand you ever had. You know, Buck, I believe you will. Let's eat. Luke? Luke, I give you credit for more sense than you're showing about this kid. Hmm? What have I done now? Why, letting him ride out of here by himself at night. You don't expect him to come back, do you? What did you say? Well, you give him permission to take one of your horses, didn't you? I did not. Then he's a horse thief in addition to being a rustler. Of course, if you want to let him go, well, I'm sorry I bothered you. All right, saddle up my night horse. Yours, too. We'll go after him. Yeah, if you're asking me. Well, I'm not asking you. Now let's get him before he pulls another fool stunt. In a moment, Luke Slaughter of Tombstone returns. Have you got a little list? Paper cups, paper plates, charcoal, sandwich wrapping, mustard napkins? Write it on a list so nothing will be forgotten. Next weekend, you'll be joining the rest of America for the first big outdoor weekend of the year, the big three-day Memorial Day weekend. You'll be heading for the beach, the woods, the mountains. And don't land there without the forks, the franks, and the film. Don't find out too late the vacuum jug fell to the floor last fall. Check now. Buy now at your grocers or druggists. And now, Act Two of William N. Robeson's production of Luke Slaughter of Tombstone. Yeah, I'll say one thing. The kid sure ain't trying to cover his tracks. Looks like he's headed straight for town. <laughs> That new artillery you'll give him, he can create quite a ruction before he runs again. He's not running, Wichita. He's up to something. Wish I knew what it was. Well, he's up to something, all right. Probably going to meet his rustling friend and tell him what an easy mark you are. Wichita, if you'd been kicked around as much as that boy, you'd take a few wrong turns, too. Uh, but he don't know right from wrong when you lay it out for him. I think he does. Now, I know what you think, and I know what I think. Let's keep quiet and find him. Yeah, sure, Luke. That's the way you want it. Here's my pie ball, tied up in front of the Crystal Palace. I think he's in there. Let's take a look. Oh. Now, what you gonna do if he is in there? Haul him out? No. Let's stop here by the door where we can see. Do you spot him? Yeah, far into the bar. Talking to a man with a black mustache. Yeah. Slick looking saddle warmer, ain't he? Looks like he's been riding hard, too. Ever see him before? New one to me. I told you that kid was coming to town for a powwow. Here he comes. Let's get back out of the light. Now's the time to grab him, Luke. Quiet. Well, he sure ain't looking to be spied on. Headed right back for the ranch. Wichita, you wait here. I'm going in and talk to that waddy. Talk to him? Why don't you get him arrested for rustling? Takes more than suspicion to arrest a man, Wichita. Well, 
You're sure doing a lot of pussyfooting over one stray kid. We were all kids at one time. I think this one needs a nudge in the right direction. <laughs> if, if you don't get your pin feathers singed while doing it. <laughs> Whiskey, bartender. You, uh, you join me, stranger? Huh? Oh, why, sure. I'm Luke Slaughter. I own a spread in these parts. No, well, my name's Price. Price. Mm-hmm. Funny, I don't recall having seen you in Tombstone before. Well, I ain't seen you neither. No offense. I'm always looking for good cowhands. You interested in a job? Could be. That kid you were talking to just now, uh, Buck Rainier. He works for me. You know him? This is a public saloon, Slaughter. I was talking to him same as I'm talking to you. Sure. If you want that job, come on out tomorrow. Anybody can tell you where I'm located. Thanks, Slaughter. I just may do that. Good night, Price. I see Wichita got you outfitted. Sure did. These new duds feel awful good. Yeah, the next thing you'll need is a string of horses. A string? All my own? <laughs> I never heard of a cowboy doing his job on foot. Gosh, my own string. Since you've taken a liking to that piebald you were riding last night, let's start with that one. How'd you know I rode into town last night? I know. Ain't you gonna do nothing about it? I figure when you get ready to tell me what you're up to, you will. You trust me, don't you, Mr. Slaughter? I trust any man until he proves he isn't worthy of it. Ain't nobody ever trusted me before. Not like that. It's about time somebody did, then. Oh, uh, by the way, ran into a friend of yours at the Crystal Palace last night. Name of Price. Price? He ain't no friend of mine. Oh, I thought he was. I offered him a job. You offered him a job? Anything wrong with that? Well, it's your spread. Now, I'd like to pick out those horses now, if you don't mind. All right. Let's go down to the corral. Well, looks like Price is going to take me up on that job. I'll go on down to the corral. No, you wait here. Good morning, Price. Morning, Slaughter. Well, hello, Buck. Morning. I thought I'd amble out and see what you had to offer. Glad you did. You want the job? How many head do you run? Oh, around 500 right now. Increasing it gradually. That ought to be enough to keep a man busy. I'll take it. Good. You're obviously an old hand, so I'll pair you up with Buck here. Mr. Slaughter. Well, that sounds good to me. Maybe I can teach the kid a thing or two. I'm sure you can. Now, Buck, we'll pick out two strings of horses. Uh, riding night guards, my specialty, Slaughter. Oh? Well, we can start you right out at that, tonight. Most of the boys prefer bunkhouse duty after dark. Mr. Slaughter... Yes, Buck? Never mind. Let's get the horses. <laughs> Let me finish my supper. <laughs> you can have two suppers tomorrow. Did you tell the boys what I told you? Yep. Said you and me had to ride into Tombstone on a cattle deal this evening. Price overhear you? Made sure he did. Good. Now, we ain't going to town. Where are we going? Same place we went two nights ago. Upper Mesa. Why? Kid and that new fella Price is right night heard up there tonight. Went up nearly an hour ago. <laughs> You trust that combination? Of course not, but you're the boss. Give a man enough rope, he's liable to hang himself. Give a boy enough rope, he might get tangled up. I figure Buck's tangled up. Hey, you're still trusting that kid, huh? I haven't seen him do anything wrong. If I do, I'll change my tune. Yeah. Here's the trail entrance leading up to the mesa, Luke. You want to go first? We'll stop right here. Here? Whoever comes down has to pass this point. It's the only trail. 
Mm. You aiming to ambush Price and that kid? Ambush? No. Observe is the word, Wichita. Uh, you could observe them back at the ranch. What you going to all this trouble for? Proof. I'll bet you a heifer against four bits there's another rustling attempt tonight. How do you figure that? Did you take a look at Price's hands? I didn't like his face. Didn't get as far as his hands. They're soft. A gambler's hands. He's not a working cowboy. What does that prove? Nothing yet. But I think that Price is the wrestler who got away the other night. And I think he's forcing Buck to act against his will. Well, if you ask me... I didn't. Oh. Now let's hide the horses and get set. Yeah, but, but Luke, if the kid... Help Price move them cattle out. He's guilty of rustling no matter what you think about it. This time he won't be knocked out. And if he doesn't answer some straight questions, he'll go to jail the same as Price. Uh, here they come, Luke. Appears you was right. Yeah. Let him get down off the trail into the flat, and then we'll challenge him. Uh-huh. There's Price and the kid bringing up the rear. When they pass in front of us, I'm going to stand up. Keep me covered. Either one of them reaches for his gun, shoot. Got you, Luke. All right, get ready. Hold it, Price. Wait a minute. This is as far as we're going. Now, what are you talking about? Come on. we got to keep these critters moving. I'm not going any farther, and neither are you. Don't you give me that back talk. You do what I tell you. Now, what's the idea of the gun? I've taken all I'm going to take from you, Price. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> You're going to kill me? <laughs> I don't know what my mother sees in you. You're nothing but a lying, cheating gambler. And now you turn into a rustler. Well, you can't make me one, too. Why, your ma's a pretty woman, Buck. We're going to get married on the money we make selling this herd. You wouldn't shoot your own daddy now. Would you? You ain't one-tenth the man my daddy was. And my mother's had enough grief in her life. You ain't gonna add no more to it. You're forgetting that you're just as much of a rustler as I am. No, I'm not. If my mother wasn't mixed up with you, I'd have told Mr. Slaughter who you were the night you knocked me out and left me to take the blame. I don't know why he's been so good to me, offering me a job and all, but I'm not gonna pay him back by letting you get away with this. So I'm gonna kill you right now. <laughs> don't reach for it, Price. Cover it, Wichita. Mr. Slaughter, well, you, you shot the gun right out of my hand. I couldn't stand by and let you commit murder, Buck. I've learned all I need to know about Mr. Price and his rustling. Now, just a minute, Slaughter. We're still on your property, and you can't prove a charge of rustling. Price, did I give you orders to move that herd down from Upper Mesa tonight? Well, no. Just who do you think the judge is going to believe? You, uh, you still want me to work for you, Mr. Slaughter? Of course I do, Buck. And after the trial of this sidewinder here, it might be a good idea if you took a week off and rode over to Prescott to see your mother. I'd like that. Take along a copy of the tombstone epitaph that tells about Price's trial. It'll set her straight on the mistake she almost made and let her know what kind of a man she raised. <laughs> Luke Slaughter of Tombstone, starring Sam Buffington, was written by Alan Botzer and directed by William N. Robeson. Editorial supervision by Tom Hanley. Supporting Mr. Buffington were Junius Matthews, Sam Edwards, and Vic Perrin, with music composed and conducted by Wilbur Hatch. <laughs> Next week at this time, we return with... Slaughter's the name. Luke Slaughter. When we meet up again, you can call me that. Luke Slaughter. This is the CBS Radio Network. <laughs>